I didn't listen to lists last week, and I took the Saints. Right. <laughs> you know what? It's the pot odds play. Well, Liss actually wasn't even pot odds play. Liss just didn't trust them. No. He's right. God, I hate saying that on air. <laughs> Don't do this. I mean, I'd say it off the air. It's fine. But no, I got yeah, a lot of right. I told you so's. I'm sure. For sure. Of yeah. course. Well, and it's an unusual year. I, uh, you know, Chris and I are in the same eliminator pool, and we, uh, you know, it ended in week three. 18 people, all but one person out in three weeks. I mean, a lot of people lost a week with the two weeks ago with the Patriots. Sure. Then a lot of people with the Saints. One person took the Niners on the road. Another person, I think, took the Eagles in one of my pools on the road, which I don't know about that one. But anyways, um, it's just a bloody, bloody uh, uh, week, yes, year so far. However. This week is not that week. Yeah, there's, uh, it's, a, there's a lot of uh, maybe easy or maybe not if you're still in your original pool. Right. At Houston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, let's start with Houston okay. because a lot of people have already taken them in week one. But if you're in a rebuy pool or if you avoid them in mm -hmm. week one, they're probably the best bet. Home game against Tennessee. Uh, arguably, it's them or Baltimore. Baltimore on Thursday night. We'll see if this gets there. Get, you can see this by Thursday night. But, uh, you know, I, I do think that Houston is the play, especially if you're in a rebuy pool, because a lot of people kind of forget about that a little bit. But if in, if you're ava they're available for you and you haven't used them, use them, because everybody else can use Baltimore this week. 12-point favorites at home against Cleveland. It's a Thursday night game. It's a division game. I don't like taking division games if I have to, unless I have oh, to. Oh, really? Just because the familiarity factor there, you know, it's not like Cleveland's going to be surprised at, oh, they're using Ray Rice or Torrey Smith this way, you know. Okay. But Cleveland doesn't have Joe Hayden, their best cover corner. There's a reason why they're big dogs on the road with a rookie quarterback. So it's either that or second-year quarterback in Jake Locker at Houston, one of the best defenses in football. You always back these good defenses if you can, especially at home. I think that is a little X factor, but anyhow, those, those are my top two choices. Currently, 57% uh, of people are using Baltimore, so yeah. that's another reason to avoid Baltimore if you can. Well, so who else? So if you uh, have already used Houston and most people are, are picking Baltimore, then... Then there's three other choices. I like Atlanta at home against Carolina. I believe Atlanta is legit. I think they're a really good team this year. In the Dome, I think they'll win against Carolina, but Division Foe once again. Cam uh, Newton is a little bit of an X factor, but that defense, it's hot garbage. They're so bad. <laughs> I mean, Andre Brown looked like an all pro. Ramsey's Barton looked like Jerry Rice. I mean, he yeah, really I, I, did. Yeah. He really did, didn't he? He did. He did. He's like a top waiver wire pick, I think, this season. Yeah, but no, the thing is, it's too late. Because Hakeem Nix is back this week. <laughs> that was he, his you know, he, you know, he was getting all the targets as everyone was shifting their coverage over to Victor Cruz. That was the week to use Ramsey's Barton. Super genius that I am. I picked him up, but then didn't use him. So mm -hmm. I was like, ah, oh, crazy. I did use him in one league at least. But okay. anyways, uh, yeah. so I do like Atlanta this week. Other teams that I like. I like Arizona at home against Miami. We talk about and being the book. I like If I'm going to like him minus six, well, I'm going to like him to win, for of sure, course. For so sure. uh, I do like that defense against a rookie quarterback at home, of course. And then finally, Green Bay at home against New Orleans. I know they look terrible on Monday night. At least their offensive line did. Wait, Green Bay at home against New Orleans. Yeah, why not? New Orleans is 0 and 3. So? You don't think that they're just You don't think that's a reflection a of what they are? That's actually going to be yes. Yes, it should be a reflection of what right. they are. But this is why last week I was like there's no way Drew Brees is See, everybody likes the motivational thing. Uh -huh. They're professionals. They all matter. should be motivated, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, and the thing is, New Orleans they've had this chip on their shoulder. They're really going to prove that it was, you know, legit they're well, that, that's that's a garbage <laughs> motivation as far as I'm concerned. It always There's always this talk about motivation, but really, unless you're talking like playoff spot clinch, motivation shouldn't be the issue. Green Bay's one and two. I mean, they should be equally motivated. And they're probably real angry after right. a Right, and they're night. home, yeah. and New Orleans defense is terrible. Uh, they, Jamal Charles went in for 233. Carolina as a team went for over 200. It was a turnstile run defense. I think actually Cedric Benson is a good fantasy play this week because of that. I think Aaron Rodgers gets a little well. Now, I worry about this Green Bay offensive line. It is an issue that they're not protecting him. But they adjust in the second half. I think they find a way to win comfortably in this game. All right. I think I'm going to go with uh, Baltimore. Yeah, I'm just that's ride the, the wagon. safe play. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? That, I only have one how, more shot. How would that work for you in week two with New England there, right? You avoided New England, yes. and, but now you got them there still. I get it. I, I ve I'm very comfortable using Baltimore, too, if, I, if I've already used Houston. Anyhow, that, th those are my top five. I, I say Atlanta's my number three. I'm going to go Baltimore number two. I'm going to go Houston number one. I like it. All right. He's the expert, Jeff Erickson. This is Rotowire TV.